Figures 16.5 and 16.6 .6 show the Daniel cell, which is one of the simplest electrochemical cells you'll meet. You need to have a good understanding of what the different parts of the cell do before you go on to more complex cells. We'll look at the diagrammatic representation here. Like all electrochemical cells, there are two half cells. An oxidation occurs at one, in this case the Zn, Zn2 plus half cell, and reduction occurs at the other, the Cu, Cu2 plus half cell. When current is drawn from the cell, Zn is oxidized to Zn2 plus and electrons flow down the wire to the right hand half cell where Cu2 plus is reduced to Cu. But why the salt bridge? One way of thinking about it is that it completes the circuit. But if that's all, you might think that a piece of wire would do, but of course it wouldn't. Here's the explanation. As current is drawn from the cell, Zn2 plus ions build up in the left-hand half cell. And this leads to a build-up of positive charge. In the right-hand half cell, Cu2 plus ions are removed. And this means a build-up of negative charge, say from the sulphate ions, if the solution is copper sulphate. So there's a build-up of positive charge on the left and negative charge on the right. And without the salt bridge, this would prevent any current flowing. What the salt bridge does is to provide a path for negative ions to flow towards the left-hand half cell to counteract the build-up of positive charge and positive ions to flow towards the right-hand electrode to counteract the build-up of negative charge. The salt bridge is a tube containing a solution of an electrolyte. The electrolyte could also be held in something else like a strip of absorbent paper. It doesn't matter much what the electrolyte is, provided it doesn't react with the solutions in the half cells. Sodium sulphate or potassium chloride are often used. The Daniel cell is very simple, but this basic setup, half cells with oxidation and reduction joined by a salt bridge, is common to most of the other electrochemical cells that you'll meet.